Homeowners in a northwest Rochester neighborhood are voicing concerns about drivers whizzing through residential streets, posing a danger to kids, cyclists, and pedestrians. Tonight, those concerns were heard during a meeting hosted by the Rochester Public Works Department. KIMT News Series Brandon Cook is joining us live from Valley High Drive Northwest with reaction from neighbors. Brandon. Yeah, Jess, a group of neighbors in the area of Valley Drive Northwest are filed a petition to the city asking them to take action to address drivers speeding along this road right here. And I have to say, Jess, for 10 o'clock at night, it is a pretty busy road for Residential Street. Many cars I've seen drive down this road. Now, the posted speed limit here is 25 miles per hour, but the city says drivers are still often exceeding that speed limit. And in this residential neighborhood, it is a danger to many pedestrians and cyclists. As cars continue to exceed the speed limit, it's creating safety concerns for them. The city says the issue stems from a hill along the street that allows drivers to pick up speed easily going down and accelerating driving up. The city hosted an open house to hear what solutions neighbors living along Valley Drive are proposing. I spoke with a few residents who shared their insight. One neighbor proposed adding a stop or yield sign. However, others tell me adding safety features to the entire street is a waste. The street is always being speeded on. I mean, people are always flying up the hill and flying down the hill. It's not that severe. Uh, it doesn't really warrant to change um, and to um, create more havoc than actual like good for the neighborhood. It, it doesn't really warrant the extra tax dollars. The city is holding another meeting where they will be presenting concepts they think will work for this neighborhood and ultimately improve the safety of this road right here. Live in Rochester, Brandon Coat, KIMT News 3. Thank you, Brandon. Can see traffic there moving behind him. The Rochester City Council will also need to decide whether to approve funding to add stop, yield, or feedback signs along Valley Drive Northwest.